Hello, everybody. Well, if you've been following me, you'll know I have an AstroTech 115 refractor. That's my new telescope. But what about my old scope? So I figured I'd do a review of this thing. This is the Orion EV80. It's been my workhorse for five years now, and I'm very happy with this scope. Now, let me just tell you about this scope first off. I'll give you some of the, the good things about it. It's an F7.5, and it has a focal length of 600 millimeters. Most ED80s have focal lengths at 400 millimeters. So this gives a unique field of view, which is, I think, would be highly sought after. It's also very durable, uh, and it's lightweight. I think it comes in at like, what was it, six pounds or something like that. It's very maneuverable. There's some of the other things about this scope. It's listed as an apochromatic, and apochromatic infers that it would have three lenses on it, but this only has two. So it's a doublet with ED glass, extra dispersion glass. Uh, so it's, it, they're, they're, they're a whole class of telescopes known as semi-apochromatics. So I'll put a link on to Star Arizona's website. Uh, they have a good explanation of this. So you've got your doublets and you've got your triplets and um, this is actually a doublet with the extra dispersion glass, even though it's listed as an apochromatic, which you would think would be three lenses. Anyways, I think doublets have got a uh, bad rap, even regular doublets, not even the apochromatic doublets, uh, have got a bad rap. And Chuck from Chuck's Astrophotography first pointed this out on a video. It's gonna be my new scope for solar imaging. Uh, that's why I don't mind it being a doublet, although, a doublet is just fine if you, if you want to use it for just narrow band imaging as well. It's, doublets tend to get a, a bad reputation, but they, they can be used for a lot of things. If you haven't ever watched Chuck's videos, I, I watch them all, they're great. But he was pointing out that the, the very same thing, because if you think about it, if you have a monochrome camera, uh, you're going to focus each lens to that specific wavelength, and so it really won't matter if you have a doublet or a triplet if you've got a monochrome camera. So what are the cons with this telescope? Well, there is none. I think the, the telescope's great. My problem with this scope, or the cons that I would say, have to do with the pricing. Uh, what you get with this um, telescope when you order it as a single unit, uh, it's four hundred and fifty dollars listed on Orion currently, and I think I pay. I may actually may have paid a little bit more. I may have paid like five hundred uh, years ago. Nonetheless, what you get is the telescope, and you get the Crayford focuser, and that's it. Now the Crayford focuser that they give you is not a dual speed focuser. It's only a single speed. If you look at other people's telescopes that are apochromatics. Uh, you get other stuff. You, you, usually you might get the, the mounting brackets, uh, you might get a diagonal, you'd get a dual speed focuser, you might get a carrying case, but with this, if you order it, that's all you get. You get the optical tube and a single speed focuser and that's it. So in that aspect, it's not a great deal. Uh, I replaced the single speed focuser with, I, I got a Moonlight uh, dual speed focuser. Uh, I also had to, went out and purchased a diagonal and I got the rings and all this other jazz. So when you added all that up, it was, you know, $900 now. So you might look at other people's telescopes that they have for sale and what they include, they include a lot of that stuff. In some, in some cases, they'll give you a carrying case too. So that's why our, that's the con of this telescope. Now, there is one way to get this telescope with some of the other stuff, and that's if you get the package deal. 
Uh, I got this scope separately. What I first did is I purchased the Orion Cirrus mount and I got it a package deal with this scope over here. This is my uh, 8 inch uh, Newtonium. So I got the whole thing as a package deal. And I thought I was going to go out and do imaging with this, but I, you know, what do you know when you first get started out? After a while, I realized this is not the best thing to use for imaging, and it was the weight limit was getting close with this Cirrus mount, so I wanted to get a smaller scope. So that's why I got this. Now, this comes with a package deal with the Cirrus mount, and that's the way to get this scope, is if you get it as a package deal with the Cirrus mount, then they'll give you the uh, diagonal and all this other stuff that I was mentioning. So there is one way to do it, get it with the package deal. Otherwise, unless you really want this field of view, then you know, you'd know you probably get more for bang for your buck if you get a different, a different scope. Anyways, final thoughts. I think the scope is awesome. It, you won't go wrong if you have this scope or you want to get this scope. My only concern is, like I said, the, the price for what you get with the scope. So if you're from Orion and you just happen to watch this video, I, I would, you know, give people the diagonal or put a dual speed focuser or, or give them something so people would want to have this scope because it's, it is a really nice scope and I, you can't go wrong with it. See you later.